Hello everyone. Welcome to Oracle Fusion Technical Training by Unovix. In this video, we'll see how to configure key flex fields in a Fusion Cloud application. We'll pick up a HCM example, uh, example from HCM, but uh, the process would remain same if you have to configure uh, a flex field from a different application, say such as accounting key flex field or something else. Okay, let's get started. And the use case is to enable a couple of segments for skill and skill level on a people group flex field, people group key flex field, and, and deploy it. So key flex field, first of all, what is a flex field? Flex fields let you store additional information or let you capture uh, additional information that you need in the application. And there are a set of key flex fields that are given by Oracle and you cannot define a new key flex field on your own. You will have to use whatever is given by Oracle. And there are there are two flex fields in HCM. One of them is in core HR, and that is uh, that is called as a people group key flex field. And clients can use this a people group key flex field to group people together based on certain a custom criteria. So uh, the way it works is you configure the key flex field first. You enable what segments you want to uh, you want to have on the people group flex field. And you will have to do additional steps uh, in the in the configuration part. So we'll go through it in detail. But once you define and uh, define, configure, and deploy the flex field, whenever you try to hire an employee into a specific legal entity, if you go into the assignment page, you will see an option. You will see the key flex field enabled there, and you will see the segments, uh, the additional the segments that you are enabling here will pop up on that page. And whenever you hire an employee, you capture what is that employee's skill and skill level. And probably you can use that information down the line to figure out, uh, say, how many Oracle Fusion technical consultants I have in my, in my company with a skill level of mastery. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'm in the application now. Let me show you the navigation from homepage. So to configure a key flex field you have to go to a setup and maintenance screen global search and search for manage key flex fields and let's search for the let's do a blind search i just want to show you how many key flex fields exist there are around um, 11 or 12 key flex fields given by Oracle. Some of them belong to financials, uh, such as accounting key flex field or the asset key flex field, asset category flex field, etc. And you have a couple of them from HCM. Uh, one of them is in uh, related to payroll. That's called cost allocation flex field. And you've got a people group flex field, which is in a global HR. And the key flex fields work in a slightly different fashion. So what you have to do is first, you have to first define a structure on the key flex field. And in the structure, you will mention what segments you want to have in, and in what sequence. And then you create an instance of it. You create an instance of the structure. And later on, the DFF and EFF show up the moment you deploy the flex fields. But for KFF, you have to do an additional bit of a configuration. So first you define a structure, create an instance for it. And after you create a key flex field structure instance, you will have to link it up in the configuration. So in this case, uh, in the case of people group flex field, you need to link the managed structure instance or the structure instance that you create uh, to a legal entity. So that whenever you hire an employee into that legal entity, whatever configuration you do or whatever segments you enable will show up on the assignment page when you try to hire an employee. Okay, let's get started. First, create a structure, create a new one, and I would call it UG PPG. You know, these people go flex field and give it a name as well. And you can select what you want to use as a delimiter. So if you have multiple segments, how should those segments be separated by? Uh, do you want to use dot uh, as you normally see on a, uh, on a GL code combination, or you could use other segments as well if you want. So I'll select a dot and I'll save it for the segments to get enabled. And I'll add a couple of segments now. And we're going to store, we're going to enable skill and skill level. 
sequence one and we'll use a skill as all the prompts short long everything and uh, let's use the display width as 10 and you could select the column name uh, in width and this is this is a uh, one key difference between a, a key flex field and a disk and a descriptive or an extensible flex fields key flex field information gets stored in segment columns whereas the descriptive flex field information gets stored in attribute columns so you might probably be questioned on this in the interview and yeah, when it comes to value set, we have used up all the ones that we have created earlier. So let's use a standard value set. Let's pick up a 30 character value set and use it. No validation. And we'll also set up the display width as 30 to make it in line with uh, the default value set that we are using. Uh, let's add in another segment and let's call it a skill level. So the use case here is uh, whenever I hire an employee, I want to store what is his primary skill and what is his skill level. Is, is he at a mastery level or, or, or a basic or intermediate level? That's a use case. And put this in segment two and select the default value set code. Again, pick up the 30 characters, a seeded value set without any validation. Pick it up save and close. So that's how you define a structure first. And after you define the structure, you have to go ahead and create an instance for this. This is mandatory because eventually you're going to configure this or use this in the configuration. Add a new structure instance and let's call it as UG PPG instance. And ensure that these two checkboxes are ticked. Um, yes, we want to enable this. And yes, a dynamic combination creation should be enabled. So only if this is enabled, um, then the users will be able to select any combination of fusion and sorry, the skill and skill level. Okay, so dynamic combination will be allowed to be created on the fly. And the structure name, pick up the structure that you have created, UGPPG. And you could see that there are two segments that you have configured in that PPG. And on a structure instance, if you notice, you don't have an option to add a new segment here. So what that means is, if you want to add a new segment, you have to do it on the structure. But on the structure instance, you could change the uh, behavior of the field. So you could you could probably mark them as required if you want, or or mark them as optional if they are required. So you could you could change alter the behavior of the fields, but you cannot add in a new segment. That's something that you need to be aware of. Save and close. And once you're done with the uh, with the structure instance configuration, it's time to go ahead and deploy the flex field. And after that, once the flex field is deployed, you will be able to see the structure instance in the link up pages or in the configuration. Okay, it's already done quite fast. Uh, let's open a new runtime application. Let me sign out from here. Sign out and sign in back again. And let's go to manage job page. Sorry, not the manage job. Uh, what we have to do is uh, we need to link, we need to attach the structure instance that we have created to the legal entity HCM information or we need to tag it to a legal entity. So if you go to global search, there are uh, there are two levels at which a HCM information is maintained. So if I say manage HCM information, the search for this task, you see that a HCM information can be maintained at enterprise level or at the legal entity level or at the legal reporting unit level. So I go to manage legal entity HCM information. I'll search for a specific legal entity. Uh, let me search for us one legal entity hopefully it exists seeded one and for us and on this legal entity i want to edit it so we'll uh, correct the record and if you scroll down you will see that Yes, there is a there is an option to tag them. People group flexible structure there. 
and you could see that there is a seeded one attached in there and we could change it to a custom one. So let the page uh, go into edit mode. And after that, we'll try to uh, pick the instance that we have created. So you see people group flex field attached in there. You can search for it and you can tag the new instance that you have created. Okay, submit. So this is, this is an important step. And if you don't do it, if you try to hire an employee into US one legal entity, you will probably not be able to see a skill and a skill level uh, fields getting enabled there. Okay, so this is a mandatory step. If the legal entity is configured now to use the new instance that you have created, click on done. And how do we test this out? Uh, we go to we go to home page and we try to hire an employee now. And I'm not sure if we can hire an employee over this uh, user. Yeah, I don't think we have an option. We have the required privileges to be able to hire an employee as Casey or Brown. So what we do is we just quickly switch the user, sign out, sign in as a Curtis PT, which is a fictional HR specialist user. And we'll try to hire an employee to validate uh, validate the key flex field that we have deployed. So we go to my client groups, try to hire an employee. And this is a known issue. First time you come into this screen, you will see you will not see anything. That's okay. You just go back and come back in again. And you will typically see it with the sandbox is enabled. Click on new person again and hire an employee. And you pick up a US one legal and US one legal entity as an option here. Click on the drop down and enter enter the enter the details there. Enter only the mandatory columns. I'm not going to save this employee anyway. But I just want to go to employee information tab because in that page, uh, that is where you see the key flex field that you have configured. So enter the address as well, without which you will not be able to proceed further. Click on next. And in the employment information tab, yeah, you should, you will have a, quite a few flex fields in that, uh, in, in, in the employment information page. So let it get loaded first. And if you scroll down further, you see that there is a people group text field and you could click on it to enable it. Okay, it says no valid combination exists. Okay. So usually you, it, it should uh, it should let uh, let you it should pop up and it should let you see the skill and skill level uh, which are the additional fields that you have configured on the extensible flex field sorry on the key flex field and you should be able to select uh, enter the enter the 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 key flex field value or skill and the skill level probably you could enter the skill as fusion technical and the skill level as mastery and after that when you go ahead and save the employee save the employee you will be able to see uh, see the people group information there. Okay. So this is how you enable a key flex fields and configure them. Okay. So, uh, and in the next video, we'll see how HCM extracts work in Fusion HCM. So HCM extracts is one of the out of the box option available for you to build outbound integrations in HCM cloud, especially. As you can make out from the name, this, this option is available only for HCM. In case you want to extract uh, mass information from HCM cloud and share it with other systems, then you will use HCM extracts. We'll see it in detail in the next video. Please join me there. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. In case you are interested in Oracle Fusion technical training offered by Unobeeks, please call us on this number or send a WhatsApp message.